Okay, so this is a short video on how to create a link from the text that appears in your article to a, another web page. Now, this page could be an art, another article within the Kibworth Chronicle website, or it could be another page that exists in the World Wide Web. And the process is pretty much uh, identical. So in this example, I'm going to link to a page on Wikipedia. So this article that's been written features Charlie Chaplin. So if you are reading this digitally, what we're going to do is going to create a link from the word Charlie Chaplin to the actual Wikipedia page on Charlie Chaplin, just in case anyone doesn't know who Charlie Chaplin is. So the first step is to highlight the word Charlie Chaplin, and it you can highlight anything to create the link so you could do it on charlie or you could do it on chaplin or the letter p it's whatever is relevant to what it is that you want to link to so in this case we're going to link to charlie chaplin and when you highlight some text what then comes up is this uh menu button and the one that you want to click on is the one that's the link as in the the chain link so you click on the chain link and what it's now asking you to do is to drop in the URL of what it is that you're looking for. So I've already pre-prepared this and I have highlighted, uh, already found the Wikipedia page for Charlie Chaplin just for ease of the video. And so this is Charlie Chaplin's Wikipedia page. So I'm going to click on the URL and if I right click, that will copy. Okay, so I go back to the article that I'm interested in, go into this box, and then paste that URL, which a shortcut is Control V. And so that's now pasted in that link to Charlie Chaplin. Okay, it's really important from a user experience point of view that you actually click on Open in New Tab. So if you click on that's there the button will move over so this is where when you are then visiting and viewing this page if you click on this link it opens it up in a new tab rather than replacing the page that's currently on the screen because they may go to the charlie chaplin page and then go oh yeah i'm not interested in just close charlie chaplin but it will leave the original kibworth chronicle page on okay and then submit and what you'll now see is that from the way that we've set this the style guide up, Charlie Chaplin now becomes underlined and is now in blue. Okay. And then you press, I've made that change and I'm finished and I'm happy with that change. Then press publish. And yes, I'm I'm happy and ready to publish it. This is all within the Currently, this is in the uh, Jeb design, so this is in the backup site. So that article has now been published, and if I then go to view the post, I need to wait for it. View the post. Okay, so if I scroll down, Scrolling down just a little bit slow, a little bit slow, a little bit slow. Right, so now we come down to Charlie Chaplin. And if I hover over it, my cursor goes from a pointed arrow to a finger. And if I click on Charlie Chaplin, it then has opened up a new tab linking to Charlie Chaplin. So you can link this to, you know, if there was an article about running, you can click to a running website. And that's the process. And you do exactly the same if you're going to connect to an article within our website. So you just find the, the published URL, paste it in. Always make sure it opens in a new tab. Submit it. And then if you haven't finished your article, carry on finishing. And then you publish. And that's how it will work.